All right, when a brush fire's quick-moving flames torched the land and threatened the wildlife near the Bush Highway yesterday, two teenagers took matters into their own hands. They pulled over and they tried to put those flames out in a way that you would not expect. We're talking about with beer. Liz Alon joining us live with the video. And Liz, uh, what gave them this idea? Yeah, absolutely. Heather, well, when they got there, they tried calling the fire department. They even drove to a sheriff's office station. But when those two things didn't work out, it was just them and the fire. 19-year-old Gabriel Carrillo and 18-year-old Evelyn Williams were on their way to work, headed down Bush Highway to Saguaro Lake Ranch around 4.30 in the morning, Memorial Day. We happened to notice a thing of smoke just off to the right hand side. They say it was about 100 yards out. When we had stopped, we saw that the fire was in a uh, controlled fire. It was actually an out of control fire. It was a wildfire. Someone else stopped, but thought the fire was too big to put out. We had drove down to the sheriff's station, which was about a quarter mile down the road, and there was nobody there either. So we turned around and took it into our own hands, which was either crazy or dumb of us, but we still did it anyway because that's we're protecting private land, we're protecting the homes that are about two miles back and all the uh, Salt River access, the Saguaro Lake access, plus all the other fires that have burnt out our area. We just were tired of seeing it happen. We just started using what we had, which is our hands and our feet, started kicking dirt. After more than an hour, they say they brought the fire down to a smolder by kicking dirt over the flames. With no water, the fear was the embers would reignite. Thankfully, one man on his way out to the lake with his boat brought out his 30-pack of beer, which they poured all over the ground to extinguish the threat. Started putting it on the fire, started dumping it in cactuses and bushes under the trees because it had spread quite a while. Although not even old enough to drink beer yet, these two teens see the upside of having it around. I wasn't thinking I'm a hero. I wasn't thinking that we're doing this for anything else. I'm just, we're doing this because it's saving our job. It's saving the road that gets everyone to the river to have fun. And it's saving the homes that are behind us. And when the couple finally did make it to work, their ultimate de destination, they were sent home because they were feeling ill from the carbon monoxide. And when they drove back to work this morning, they went past the site and they said everything was as they left it, no other damage. And we did reach out to Tonchil National Forest officials. They handled the incident and we have not heard back. Reporting live in Phoenix, Liz Alon, Arizona's family.